In this video, I'm going to be replacing the water pump in this 2003 Chevrolet Trailblazer with a 4.2 liter six cylinder engine. All right, let me show you what we're dealing with here. Got ourselves a pretty significant squeak. On cold days, this thing really screeches. The problem is the water pump. Now the water pump itself is, I think it pumps water just fine, but it's the bearing in the pulley that the clutch fan is uh, connected to. That bearing is bad, and you can actually see a wobble in that uh, clutch fan. It's pretty bad. So let me see if I can do this in slow motion, and maybe you can see the, the, the wobble a little bit better. So what we gotta do here is pull this clutch fan off and remove the water pump and replace it and that'll get rid of our squeak. Now this thing is so bad that this fan is actually kind of knocking into the fan shroud and causing some clunking noises. So we gotta loosen this nut here and get rid of this fan clutch. Gotta get rid of the engine shroud here and disconnect the upper radiator hose, uh, drain some coolant. All right, you may already know we purchased a 2004 Trailblazer for parts. I've already removed the fan and the fan shroud as well as the water pump. So this is what we're going to get after on my wife's. I'm going to replace the water pump with the one that came off of here. Now removing the fan clutch uh, may seem like a daunting task, but I rented a master fan clutch wrench set from AutoZone and it made the process go really smoothly. I think I had all this off of here in about 40 minutes. First things first, I'm going to undo the negative battery cable. Next, I'm going to take the radiator cap off and loosen the lower radiator hose and let some coolant drain out. All right, there's the lower radiator hose. I just got a mean set of pliers here and uh, pinch that back, slide that out of the way. I'm going to break this hose loose off of this fitting here and drain out some coolant. I'm just going to try to make sure I catch as much of it as I can. this upper radiator hook. One more to go. All right, next thing for me is to remove this 10 millimeter bolt here, and there's another one right there, and then this wiring harness right here. All right, there are two cooler lines that are attached to the fan shroud. Just need to get a screwdriver here and just pry those babies out. Be careful not to damage the line. Okay, so this is the Master Fan Clutch rent set that I got from AutoZone. I'm renting it for about 110 bucks or something like that. Uh, I'll get my money back when I return it, uh, undamaged of course. They give you a couple of different wrenches for the clutch fan, and then you have these square looking wrenches for bolts that are on the water pump. Hold the water pump bolts still with this one and loosen the fan clutch nut with this one. This is the one I need and that's the one I need. All right, I'm ready to go after this clutch fan now. This tool right here is what's gonna go around the four bolts that are on the front side of the pulley for the uh, water pump. And that's gonna hold the water pump pulley in place. It's got a half inch spot to put my breaker bar on. Okay, now it's on, and then we just take the wrench end and put it on the nut for the clutch fan, right there. And we're just gonna pull our wrenches opposite each other and loosen that nut for the clutch fan. Let's see if I can rotate this engine just a little bit, get these bolts a little bit more in a leverage position for me. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. Ooh. 
I ain't gonna lie, the other one came off a whole lot easier than this. That bad boy is on there. All right, you can see here, I finally got the nut loose. It'll spin without rotating the uh, pulley for the water pump. Okay, now I'm gonna take this nut off. I'm gonna push this fan back a little bit. With everything disconnected on the fan shroud, I should be able to lift this out. I've gotta be careful with these lines here. You're gonna have to get around this part here. All right, I've been studying this for a few minutes and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this fan shroud out. The other one came out so easy because the previous owner notched out a section from the fan shroud to accommodate for um, the radiator. So, if I don't want to hack this and take it off properly, I can take these bolts out right here and I'm pretty sure the clutch comes off of the fan blades and then that should give you enough distance to be able to pull this out and over and lift up the whole unit out. That seems like a hassle for just one spot. All right, so moment of truth. Do I want to take it off properly with the bolts or do I want to hack out a section for the radiator? Do it! Just do it! I'm going to hack out a section for the radiator because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to take this fan out in the future because I have some future repairs. Uh, air conditioner, compressor, a uh, power steering pump. I don't know if I'm going to have to take this out again to get to those things. So I'm just going to hack this out the redneck way and pull this thing up. Just do it! Alright, so my hacksaw just wasn't cutting it. So what I ended up doing was taking my drill and drilling all these tiny little holes all the way around here. And now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and cut through those perforations and uh, knock out that little piece. Alright, it's out. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, we'll be able to pull the span strat out. No problemo. Okay, the fan is loose now. It's off of the water pump. Yeah, you can hear the play in that pulley. I mean, this thing's really flopping. I mean, it flops worse than an NBA basketball player. All right, now I'm gonna take the housing off the pulley. These are 13 millimeter bolts. All right, now I'm gonna get the water pump out. These are 10 millimeter bolts. And judging by the looks of this thing, I believe the gasket was leaking. Looks like there's coolant that has leaked around the outside of this thing and it's kind of corroded the metal it looks like. Especially bad down here in this bottom right corner. There's going to be coolant coming out of here so I'm trying to catch what I can. I got a bucket underneath. I got my gasket, my water pump. I'm gonna use Red RTV high temp gasket maker. It just happens to be what I had in my toolbox. I looked it up and this is okay for use on water pumps. So I'm just gonna put a small bead around the pump here. Don't wanna overdo it. Line up my gasket. On backwards. Yes. Oh, Doggone it. Well, it's already <laughs> it's already globbed up for the engine block now.
Oh well. Nobody's nerfed. I'm going to hand tighten these down first and then we'll torque them down to 35 inch pounds in a crisscross pattern. That way it seats right. I'm going to torque them down to 89 inch pounds. I think that's what it is. I looked it up online. All right, I cleaned up the pulley housing and uh, I'm ready to put that back on. All right, I've hand tightened the bolts. Now I'm going to put the serpentine belt back on. If you can't remember how it goes back on, look at your fan shroud. There's a diagram on it. Now would be a good time to check the belt to see if there's any damage. Uh, and if so, it can replace it now. Ready to torque down these bolts to 18 foot pounds. Okay, I'm ready to put the fan back in. I'm gonna actually put the fan from the 2004 model into my wife's blazer. There's some little pegs down here that go into these holes down there. Make sure those go in. Um, gotta watch out for these cooler lines. I'm gonna snap that clamp back together on a little radiator hose. I think we're ready to slide this dude in. I have to be careful putting these, this uh, shroud back in because I don't want to accidentally hit the radiator. Having that notch right there is a huge help. Nothing is impossible! May have missed those pegs down at the, at the bottom. So I'm gonna go underneath and make sure I got those in right. Okay, I've got the fan tightened up, just hand tight right now. So I'm gonna use this tool again and we'll tighten it down tight. Tight. All right, I'm going to go through and put these 10 millimeter bolts back in here and here and put these in and then make sure that all my lines are snapped into place. I've got this wiring harness. Let me put that back in there. All right, everything is buttoned in and tightened down. I think everything looks good. We're gonna go ahead and add some coolant into this. The coolant that I drained out of here, it got kind of dirty. The buckets I had weren't very clean, but I do have some coolant here at the house. And what I got is just some Walmart coolant. It mixes with all colors of antifreeze and it's for all makes and models. So it's a pretty generic coolant. So we're gonna refill our radiator. Moment of truth as far as baby up. What in the world is that? <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. Still have a squeak, and I found out what it was. So I got to thinking, was all this water pump replacement in vain? No, it wasn't, because the, the pulley on that thing was definitely bad. It needed to be replaced. Fine. But that wasn't the source of the squeak, and boy, it sure seemed like it to me. All right, here's the donor trailblazer. I'll show you exactly what it was. Thought for sure it was a water pump pulley, but it ended up being this auxiliary pulley right here. This is what was on the, our trailblazer. I just swapped it over with the one that was on here. So this is the old one. You can hear that. It's got a bad bearing down in there. But that's the source of the squeak. Let's fire up my wife's trailblazer and I'll show you. Alright, there we go. It's burned like a kitten now. No more awful screech. Oh, yeah. 
All right, so that's how I replace a water pump in a 2002 to 2009 Trailblazer with the 4.2 liter six cylinder engine. It really was not terribly hard. The fan clutch, the wrench set that I rented from AutoZone was a lifesaver. That was about $110. I'll get that money back when I return this. Certainly made this job go a lot easier. Can't imagine trying to tackle this without that tool. The bearing on that water pump, boy, the way that thing had all that wobble in there, I thought for sure that that was the cause of the squeak we were hearing. And when I fired it up after replacing it and it was still squeaking, <laughs> I about hit the floor. I couldn't believe it. And thankfully it was just that little auxiliary pulley. I uh, just pulled it off of this one and put it on there and now it's running real quiet. And I tell you, when I was driving this thing, that's all I could hear. I could only hear that squeak. It was driving me absolutely crazy. You probably know the feeling but uh, anyway this parts truck cost us $460 found it on Craigslist and it's got a ton of good parts on it that we'll, we'll be able to swap over to my wife's uh, trailblazer so having bought this in the long run it's just gonna save us a lot of money on repairs so glad to have this thing well having said that we're gonna have a lot more trailblazer repairs coming in the future there are many more good parts on this thing that we're gonna take off and swap over to, to our trailblazer we're gonna get ours running as best as we can get it to run so stay tuned, we'll have some more of those videos coming up in the future. As always, thanks for watching, God bless. <music> Truck's running nice and smooth, it's purring like a kitten, and it's quiet, finally. Unlike my child.